Hi guys, it's Natalie, and I'm here today to talk to you about Red Rising by Pierce Brown, and it is fantastic. It is so good. If you love dystopian or science fiction, or you're a fan of The Hunger Games, you need to read this book right now. The story takes place on Mars in the future, and it focuses on Darrow. Darrow's a 16-year-old who belongs to a colony known as the Reds. And the Reds are basically a group of miners who live below the surface of Mars. And they are mining valuable resources, hopefully, or sorry, hoping to one day uh, make the planet habitable for their future generations. Unfortunately, however, Darrow finds out that him and all the other Reds have been lied to. Mars is habitable and has been for generations already. But instead of telling them the truth, the Golds, who are the leaders of this society, have kept the Reds in the dark and have been using them instead as slave labor. When Darrow finds this out, he is obviously pissed. <laughs> I would be too. But instead of telling the other Reds, um, he realizes that there is no possible way the Reds could ever rebel against the Golds and win. The Golds are genetically stronger, they have huge armies, and they are just trained for combat. The Reds would be slaughtered. So instead, Darrow goes undercover uh, and joins a gold combat school, hoping to one day uh, take down the golds from the inside. So he puts his plan into action, he joins this combat school, and it is literally a battlefield. Basically, all the students are placed in different teams and pitted against each other until one team has defeated all of the others. Uh, there's about 10 different teams. They are all named after uh, ancient uh, Greek, no sorry, Roman gods. So he is part of House Mars, there's House Minerva, House Apollo, etc, etc. And it gets really intense. Um, me and my coworker were talking about it today actually, and we both, you know, mentioned the fact that it's kind of similar to the Hunger Games in, you know, the fact that kids are pitted against each other to the death and you know all this strategy that's going on and there's even actually a character in the book who's very much like Hamish so we thought that was kind of interesting the similarities but we both agreed that you know even though it's like the Hunger Games this is its own book and it's even maybe better than the Hunger Games uh, because it's an adult novel so the language is more eloquent more developed and the book is grittier, which is the word my coworker used, and I thought was a fantastic way to describe it. This is a gritty book. It gets into the details that The Hunger Games never could as a young adult novel. I mean, it hints at some of the violence going on, but you don't really get a full picture of it. This book does not leave out any details. I mean, when someone dies, you find out how they die. You see it. Uh, it's violent, but it's so addicting. I mean, ugh, I could not put this book down. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it was the first maybe 30 or 40 pages were a bit slow uh, when it, when Darrow was living below the surface of Mars still, but once he found out the truth and put his plan into action, there was no way I was putting this book down at all. Darrow was, I loved him, he was so cunning and so intelligent. I love a cunning character. And I love a book that uses lots of strategy and twists and turns, and this Red Rising is just full of them. So yes, definitely a fantastic book, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? What else? There's something else I wanted to say about this book. I can't remember right now. But yes, it's really good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say except it's fantastic. And read it and let me know what you think about it. So Red Rising by Pierce Brown, five stars from me, and I can't wait to the next book. I think I'm actually, I'm already going through withdrawal. I need to know what happens next right now. Like, oh, it's crazy. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.